This is a useful exercise for a number of reasons. Uh, first up, it's quite simple to memorise so you don't have to worry about having to to read off something whilst you're playing it. It's very very simple to, me to memorise as you'll see. Secondly, it's working a few different techniques at once so we're getting to practice a few different elements of playing in one exercise. And thirdly, it starts off very simple but once we're comfortable with playing it we can expand it and add to it and use it to challenge ourselves further. Now I'm going to cover the expanding of it in other videos so I'm just going to start off with the most basic way of playing it to begin with. The basic uh, version of this exercise is just simply four notes played in sequence using all four of our fingers and it's, it sounds like this. We're just going to repeat that. The techniques that we're using, just to break it down, I'm playing four notes, one with each finger. So I'm playing my first note with my first finger, second note with my second finger or index finger, third note with my ring finger, and the last note with my little pinky. So one fret, first fret. First finger, second fret, second finger, third fret, third finger, and fourth fret, fourth finger. Before you start practicing it and building up the speed, it's worth just uh, paying attention to playing the notes correctly and getting the technique right at a nice slow tempo, so that we can uh, we can build it up and make sure that we're playing it right faster rather than playing playing it wrongly and developing a bad technique. As I said it develops a few different techniques of ours so to start off with I'm going to look at our, our fretting hand in my case this is my left hand if you're a left handed player it'll be the other way around but my fretting hand in this case. So what am I going to concentrate on? There's two things I'm going to concentrate on. The first thing is going to be making sure that we play the notes as cleanly as possible and that's going to involve trying to get nice and close up behind the fret, close to the fret, rather than at the bottom of the fret, where we might get a fluffy sounding note. I can play it there, and I can force the issue by pressing on harder, but your hand's going to run out of energy real quick doing that. So, from a best practice point of view, we want to be up nice and there. And I'm barely even pressing on to make the note, but because my finger is in the right position, it's giving me a nice clean sound, and I want to do that for all of the four notes. The second thing to do with my fretting hand is going to be which part of the finger that I'm going to use to play the notes. So I want the tip of my finger to be on the string playing the notes. to be playing them with the middle of my finger or the fleshy parts of my finger because it's just not going to sound the same and it's not the correct way to play. So we need to concentrate on those with the left hand. With the right hand or the picking hand if you're left-handed I'm picking once per note. So one pick per note and it's important that we try and time our picking with when we're playing the notes to get nice clean sounds. As I've just played it I'm been using my thumb to pick the notes. You can use a plectrum to pick the notes just the same. In that instance I was playing all the notes with a downstroke on the plectrum. If you want to, you can have a go at playing the notes using alternate picking, in which case I'll be picking down, up, down, up. It sounds the same, but it's just a slightly different technique on my right hand. Down, up, down, up. So those are the basic um, techniques for both hands. There's an element of coordination 
because we need to put our finger, our fretting finger, in the right place at the same time as we pick the note, otherwise it's going to sound terrible. Once you've comfortable that you've memorised the pattern and that you feel that you're hitting the notes at the correct time, then your best bet, as always, is to practice with a metronome, nice and slow, start with a tempo that you're comfortable with, and then once you're happy that everything's clean, there's no bum notes or, or fluff notes, then you can gradually increase the speed of the metronome, and that will make your practice more challenging for you, and improve your technique. So I'm going to set the metronome to uh, 60 beats per minute, so one beat per second, which is reasonably reasonably slow. If that's if that's too quick for you, by all means, turn your metronome down slower. It's not a race. It's more important that you play the notes cleanly. So I'm going to play it 60 in this example. Just one last thing, if you're really struggling with the with your finger stretch, i.e. how wide you can stretch your fingers for this exercise and that's holding you back, then there's no reason why you can't play the same notes but start further up. So rather than starting right down at fret number one, where the frets are quite widely spaced, you can start the exercise up at say for example fret number five, play exactly the same exercise but the frets are narrower together which won't be so much of a stretch. Eventually you'll have to overcome that stretch but to begin with if you're just getting started out feel free to start the thing higher so that you can make the notes uh, cleaner and more comfortable for yourself. Just a quick example of how that's going to sound with a metronome at a higher fret. As I said, I'm going to look at ways that we can develop the exercise and make it more challenging for us in the next video or next videos. But for now, just really focus on, on doing this, this basic version, these four notes. And when you're comfortable with those, only when you're comfortable with doing this, then I would suggest having a look at taking it further.